So I have one toner and four little treat treat ugh. <laughs> and I know that when I travel, my skin hates it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I'm sharing all of the skincare I packed for like a month of being away from home. Three weeks, but let's call it a month because like you pack the same amount for that anyways. So um, I actually have like a full bag of, <laughs> this is only sunscreen. The reason I packed this much sunscreen is because it's both for my face and body as well as my husband's. And also because in like Seattle and the Washington area and everything, um, we were gonna be hiking a lot and just in general to get around just outside a lot to walk. And so I um, packed lots of sunscreen, lots of options. Um, I already like used up a couple of these. So it's a good thing I brought all these options. And I also have this other bag of like other skincare, the, the cleansers, toners, serums, and moisturizers. So let me actually go through the sunscreen first because personally that's what I'm the most interested in and we could also just get it out of the way. So let me just separate these out by like, face versus body. All right, so here I have uh, five different options for face sunscreen. <laughs> one of them is completely empty already, but I actually, oh, I forgot this one. I have a backup of this one in my suitcase, but it's just not in this bag. So also know that I have another one. <laughs> so let's go through these individually. Um, I have these three Elta MD ones, and I actually just filmed a whole Elta MD sunscreen review video that I'll link up here. So I have the UV Daily tinted, the UV Elements, which is my favorite. It is also tinted. And I have one untinted, which is the UV Restore. The two I use the most are the Elements and the Restore because these are all physical sunscreens. And also the ingredients don't cause me any kind of issues with in terms of acne. The UV Daily, I'm a little more hesitant to use because uh, one of the top ingredients can cause issues for acne prone people like me. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, say my skin type for all of the skincare I packed for myself. So I have normal leaning oily skin, um, very acne prone, and my husband has dry skin that's like barely acne prone. He hardly ever gets acne, but sometimes he does. Okay, so these three Elta MD sunscreens, um, these were gifted to me from Look Fantastic, and I also had one other sunscreen sent my way from them, which is the Color Science Brush On. Uh, not my favorite. Uh, it's kind of hard to use, but still useful to have and carry around. Now, two other sunscreens. These are a couple that I purchased. This is the Verdio UV Moisture Gel, which I've been loving, loving, and I've even been using this on my husband. Um, it's super, super, like, runny and lightweight and watery and cooling feeling. And I believe the ingredients have alcohol in it, but still feels very like slick, not drying at all. And this is actually um, more than a normal sunscreen contains. This is 80 grams, whereas a typical sunscreen like any of these contains 50 grams. So yes, enjoying that. And also the Bliss Black Star, which is a tinted sunscreen. And I like this one because it is also all mineral and it's pretty mattifying. So the finish looks like, like freshly washed skin to me, which I like. So those are all of the facial sunscreens that I packed. Oh, another thing about the UV Restore is that my sister-in-law was actually able to use this too when we went on a little island retreat and went hiking and everything because chemical sunscreens irritate her skin. Now let's talk about the couple of body sunscreens I packed. This one is empty. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF 50. And this is exclusively a body sunscreen for me because it burns when it gets in your eyes. And also, um, it kind of irritated my face. It does have fragrance, and the next day, the next couple of days, I had all these teeny tiny bumps all over my face, so not a sun, not a face sunscreen for me anymore. And this is the Sunbum SPF 70. It's a chemical sunscreen. Both of these are chemical. And it's just another body sunscreen. We're like half, we're like down here in this sunscreen after using it for hiking and everything these last couple of weeks. Okay, so those are all of the sunscreens. Let's move on to the rest of the skincare in here. So let's go through by category. I packed one oil cleanser. This is my BFD cleansing oil from 4th Ray Beauty. Y'all already know I love this one. But I was looking for this on Ulta the other day and it wasn't there. So what's happening with this? I don't know. I really hope they're not like discontinuing it or like Ulta stopping to carry it because I, f I thought this was pretty popular on their website, but 
who knows? Next, I have a couple other cleansers. This is one I actually bought in Seattle because um, the only cleanser I packed packed was the, the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, which I love. But after oil cleansing, um, I wanted something a little bit stronger than the Hydrating Facial Cleanser because it didn't feel like it really got all the oil cleanser off and I was breaking out a little bit. So I got this Versed uh, Keep the Peace Acne Calming Cream Cleanser with 1.5% salicylic acid. It's a little bright, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just using natural lighting, by the way, that's coming through the window. After I got this, I was using it every single night for like a week because sometimes you can do that with salicylic acid cleansers depending on the formulation, but I can't do that with this one. This one is actually pretty strong. So um, my face was like, peeling a little bit on my nose. It was getting a little irritated. So now I use this like every other night and I'll just pad the rest of the time with my CeraVe cleanser. Okay, now let's talk about all the fun stuff, which is the serums. So I have one toner and four treatment serum options. So for toner, I have, yes, the legend herself, Paula's Choice, the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. And I've been using like the thinnest, the thinnest layer of this every morning. And I know that people are like, whoa, every morning. Y'all don't understand, I'm using the thinnest, like a, a few drops and then patting that like on my entire face. So that has been working for me. Um, in Seattle, of course, I've been wearing my mask every day like I normally do, but I've also been like outside most of the day. So I'm like walking around for a couple miles with my mask on. So I've been needing a little extra exfoliation. So I'm so grateful I brought this one along. And then my other treatment serums. I brought a vitamin C that I've actually been um, putting on top of this every morning. And some people are like, whoa, you can't do that. It's fine, it's not that serious. <laughs> Especially if you use like a very small amount of this. But anyways, this is the Roto Mentholatum vitamin C and the packaging of it is very secure. Like, let me show you. It has this tiny, tiny opening, and to get it out, you need to like really, really squeeze, and it comes out like a single drop at a time. <laughs> yeah, so I've been really liking this packaging. Um, it makes me feel like, you know, it's being protected as much as it can be from oxidation and everything. And uh, would I go back to this one? It does smell a little citrusy, uh, so I would probably go back to just my timeless 20% vitamin C, but I've just been wanting to try this one for a while, and it's very small and sleek, so I packed it. Next, I have my dependable prescription tretinoin cream. This is 0.025%, four to five nights a week. And just a couple other bonus things. Really, all I truly needed was these two, a vitamin C and my tretinoin but I also packed a couple other options. I have this Inky List Tranexamic Acid, which is good for scarring um, because I'm almost done with this one, so I wanted to kind of use it up. I haven't used it up yet, but I will. And also this Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster that also has licorice root and some salicylic acid. So everything that's good for acne prone skin. And I know that when I travel, my skin hates it. So I pack as many different treatment options as I can. Okay, now let's talk about moisturizers. I have a lot in here because keep in mind, I'm moisturizing my face, which is normal-ish. And then also my husband's face, which is dry, 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 dry. All right, so here are the face moisturizers that I packed. So let's go through these um, from like most lightweight to most protective. So <laughs> I have a couple gel moisturizers and they're both like travel sizes. So I have the Belief Aqua Balm. This is just a 10 milliliter sample size, which is truly like a, just a gel moisturizer. And then from one step above that, I have the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is a half an ounce size. And this is a gel moisturizer, but it has a little bit better moisture retention than the Belief one. Next for middle of the road, I have a couple. There's this Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion, which is just what I've, what both I and my husband have been using as our daily lotion because up here um, compared to Texas, it is still colder. So it's kind of like it's fall in Texas, but it's summer here. So I've been using a lotion more than I've been using just a gel moisturizer. So my husband and I have both been leaning on this one a lot. And then for the night, I have been using the either the Cetaphil lotion or this Cosrx rice overnight mask situation. And lastly, for my husband, he's actually used this up now, which is why he's using the Cetaphil one more. Um, but I brought along the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream, which is like a thick, 
like thick pasty <laughs> moisturizer, which he needed when we first came here because our skin was adjusting to the different climates and everything. And he was a dry boy. Yes, yes he was. I have a couple other random tidbits here. It's actually a sunscreen that I forgot to mention because it's in my like lotion bag as opposed to my sunscreen bag because it is super like lotion-y. So this is the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid, SPF 50. It's a chemical sunscreen and it's extremely lightweight. My favorite all chemical untinted sunscreen because it has no white cast because it's all chemical, but also the texture is so like fluid, which is my favorite as far as sunscreens go. And also it's an all chemical sunscreen that doesn't burn my eyes. So I literally put this like on my eyelid and no problems, no issues at all. The other couple things I have are my fresh lip balm in the lychee scent. And I actually used this up already, but this is my Cosrx Clear Fit Master Patch. So some pimple patches, um, but I used the last one of these yesterday. Yes, I did. So <laughs> I just have several days without any of these available to me. And that's all of the skincare I packed. What do you think? I thought it was fairly reasonable amount to pack. Maybe maybe I went like a little extra with the sunscreens because I even had this one on top of it. But otherwise I packed like one oil cleanser to remove sunscreen and makeup, two wa water-based or gel-based cleansers to follow that up with, five different treatments including toners and serums, and okay, well I, I, I have six moisturizers, but some of them are, you know, like travel size like this. <laughs> I thought this would be interesting to share with y'all. I know that my skincare content like doesn't do as well just because that's not the bulk of what I talk about on my channel, but I mean, I care about it, you know? So also because I'm a doctor now, hello, yes, I'm a doctor now. So I don't know, maybe I should start talking more about like the, the sunscreen aspect of skincare. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Oh, one idea I had in my head for like months and I still haven't filmed it, gotten around to filming it, was ranking all of my sunscreens. Hmm, wouldn't that be a fun video? Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Woo! Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.